Hello everyone, my name is Trevor Ursulescu, owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Didn't get to shave this morning, but oh well. So anyway, um, I was setting up the Carrera track, uh, trying to figure out for the next league is going to be NASCAR racing and that sort of thing. And you know, the one thing that always gets me is that on these digital tracks, you could have four lane, six lane, 12 lane, well, eight lane. Eight lane is as high as you can go. But everything always has to squeeze down in through the start-finish gate and then pop out the other side like a big bottleneck. So, I was trying to figure out how to use the pit lane, because I have one. And uh, I was reading through the uh, gigantic instruction manual here. And then I read something. Something that, that made life a little interesting. Uh, it says, ex extended pit lane function. Uh, but, but it is possible to activate and deactivate the lap counting function in the pit lane, part number 30356, or the pit stop lane, part number 30346, uh, with pit stop adapter unit 30361. And then tells you how, it tells you how to do that, right? I got the idea of what happens if you take the pit lane and take off the the um, the lanes that get you in and out of the pit lane and just use the electronic eye off the fuel sensor as lane number three to read lane number three. So <laughs> I phoned Dave Kennedy who works for Carreras and um, this is for you Dave. I hope this works because I've set up the, an oval, a quick oval here and I'll just show you the track. Maybe I shouldn't have done that in front of the window. Sorry for your eyeballs. So here's my quick oval. It's pretty long, 16 feet, actually 20 feet. I ran out of straights, so I had to use a couple of cross pieces and the electric cross. Um, had to take apart the cross. Usually I have that in the center, but I needed the pit or the the single track. So here it is. Start finish gate. The electronic eye from the fuel lap counter. I don't have another one. There's a blank lane. So what I did here, just so you don't go here for the experiment, is I put one of these here. Okay. And then down here I put the other way coming out. So basically this piece of track here is completely dead to an electronic eye. So if you're racing this thing you know, you need to get two of these, or I need to invest in some little hay bales or something and put them along here, <laughs> you know, and come out the other side and hope no one crashes straight into them. Yeah, okay, so then you got your standard chicane and your other curve. This is the old licorice, licorice rail. Okay, so I'll just set up the tripod and then, then we'll test this. Okay, so here I got my old AC Cobra there. You guys remember it from the league. All busted up and guy's head wiped off and everything. My repaint. <laughs> Alright, so I'll set it here. And then get controller one. Turn on the track. Okay, so I tried to set this up so... Whoops. Yeah, I guess my lap counter is not going to tell. Hmm. Well, let's listen for a beep. Okay, we got a beep there. Okay. Beep there. And now here's the money, the money one, the fuel lane. Ah, oh, that's why. No power going in there. Okay, well, that presents a problem. Okay, well, we'll have to see if I can get some power in there. Okay, so I'm going to try a little thing here. I don't know if this is going to work either. But I put a single lane, and then a double lane, and a single lane. See if I can get power into this track, which is currently dead. 
Actually, okay, if that doesn't work, I'll try replacing it with this, because maybe that'll suck power up into there. But at any rate, let's try this first. And if not, as a final, there's an idea. If I had one of those power patch cords, I've got one of these that's powered. Um, ooh, no, that wouldn't work either. <laughs> okay, well, at any rate, let's try this. Okay, so I did the crossover, and we got a pulse. Ooh. I got rail one. Okay, wait, I got a change here. Rail one. Okay, rail two is... Okay, that's rail three. Let me just manually... Oh, here we go. There we go, there we go. Okay, now we got three lanes operating. So I figured out something. On the other side over there is another plug-in. So let's put on our lane counter, lap counter, and see what's going on. Okay, so I set up a pace car, actually a ghost car, or what do they call it in the manual? Anyway, no driver, and then I set up my car. So let's give it a little race, and we'll check over there on the command tower, or position tower, and see where we're at. <laughs> okay. Pace car's in the lead, and I'm second. This thing's doing what it's supposed to. Okay, pace car's changing. Gone over the fuel lane. Counted the lap there. Gone lane two. Pace car wiped out, but hey, guess what? I win! All right, anyway, there you go. So, we could do it. Four lane. We just have to... You need one spot over there where a lane will cross into each other to provide power into here. Okay, actually, I did a little experiment. I got to thinking a bit here, and I found a way to do the fourth lane inner track with power. <laughs> it was so simple. Should have thought of it. So thank goodness I bought four crossings in the past, because here, I put one on the inner, inner surface, and now it gave me power through here. Now there's no start finish electric eye, but uh, yeah, if, if the pace car here will get into that inner circle for us. Okay, he's making the climb. Okay, here we go. Now watch this. Oh, he switched. Man, you can't, just can't trust a robotic pace car. All right, mister. Okay, check this out. Power. Now it didn't beep because there's no gate, but if there was, you'd have four lane. So now I know there's a lot of crossings in this track, but the key one is here. That's giving you your power off of these two and going into the first inner chamber. The second one has to come across here because this is now nodding you from the first inner chamber into the inner inner chamber, however you want to call this. Lane one, two, three, four. Just by making some crossovers, got power to everything. But if you don't want the crosses, then my other suggestion is have your two fuel lanes, have one of these. Part number one, Evolution 2.4 gigahertz wireless plus connecting track section for multi-lane extension. Item number 200 one zero one one nine pit stop adapter unit item number two zero zero three zero three six one uh, comma three zero three six zero um, you will need two of these okay so forgiving my not so good pencil sketch pen sketch here there's part number two Two zero zero three zero three six one. You need two of those. That's the pit stop adapter unit. And then there is your digital start display. Two zero zero three zero three five two. This is start gate with the five lights. These will all go on top of each other. 
Now to power the track, it's an evolution piece for extending evolution into four lanes because you need power coming off into here to get these powered. 20010119, need one of those. This is the controller unit for your spare digital controllers, wireless controllers. 26010109, this is because this is a powered track. To power this, it also has a terminal there, which would plug into this terminal. So you would have power coming from here, your plug, plug in on this side coming out, your digital receiver over here, power will go around the track on the bottom rails, come across here, hit into there, patch across into here and power the top rails going through your fuel, double fuel lanes, which will read on your digital display tower. Lane one, two, three, four. All the electric eyes line up on top of each other, and that's how you do it without doing all the crossovers. So, I hope that was of a help to you. And there you go, four lane racing. Find out more about Monster Hobbies by tuning into our Facebook page, Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. We've got uh, our gaming events, our, our Warhammer nights, our slot car races, and we always update that site more than our old uh, monsterhobbies.com um, internet page. So check us out there and uh, like us and friend us and share us and everything that's all fun about Facebook. And we'll see you soon at Monster Hobbies. Bye.